entire Simpsons Hit and Run map just got ported into Lethal Company as a playable moon. The map is huge and bigger than all the vanilla maps combined, so I had to compete in a 1v1 with my friend Nico to see who can collect the most scrap on Lethal Company's biggest moon. The rules are simple, 60 starting credits and one deadline to collect scrap, and given the map size, we implemented the Movement Company mod by 2018 per the dev's suggestion. I even pulled a prank on Nico on day 2, but like everything else that I planned for this session, that did not work out. In fact, a lot of things didn't work out in this playthrough, but I'm uploading it anyway because it was a fun way for Nico and I to end the year and ring in the new one. If you want to watch a 1v1 map showdown that's a lot more coherent than this one, please go check out the video that Nico uploaded on his channel just now. In that video, we compete in a 1v1 on the new Minecraft moon by Jigotron with a whole bunch of different Minecraft assets enabled. So whenever you feel like clicking off this video, feel free to click on that one instead in the description below. Either way, I appreciate you all for showing me and Nico so much support this past month, and we hope to entertain you all in the new year too. So happy New Year to you and your loved ones, let's get this video over with. So, let's go. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so, I remember playing Simpsons Hidden Run and Simpsons Road Rate. Why do I have infinite sprint? Oh, you know what? We're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna take it. If Nico doesn't have infinite sprint, then, man, get rolled. Here we go, let's see the Simpsons. Oh! You know, I didn't really watch The Simpsons that much as a kid, but you know, like, you see references. Like, I know Homer works here. Oh. We have infinite stamina? Oh, we have infinite stamina. At least with this, we're gonna be able to explore more of the moon. If that's the case, and all the. Nico and I just spend the whole day running around the map, then it's gonna be a very easy video to edit, I think. Oh my. Oh! Oh! I forgot. So. I turn on a, a bee hopping, uh, a bee a hopping mod. We can go around a little bit faster. I think the goal for day one is to figure out where an entrance is. The mod description does say that this is a playable map, but I don't know if that means that it's a functioning, <laughs> a functioning map. Yeah, like if there's actually an interior and whatnot. That might have been something that we could have checked for first, but then we wouldn't get our first look at the map together like this. Oh, I, I just realized that I'm not actually hitting this this bee hop. It's just this is the default jump. Hey, dude, have you found the main entrance yet? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. No. Is there even a time on your map? No, there isn't, so... Apparently Springfield is a timeless place. Oh, really? Where did it say that? No. It, oh, no, oh, oh, no, shit! No. Wait. Huh? Uh... Did you start to a sandworm? So, um, there? I just finished day one. Okay, let's see if this... If there's actually an interior on this map. Has a playable moon, all three levels together. This is the layout of the map. Oh, so it doesn't have a dungeon yet. It doesn't have scrap. It doesn't have monsters. I found a solution of what we can do. It's gonna be a hybrid video this time. We're gonna test out a hybrid video on the channel. So exit out of this game and then edit the configuration for movement or just turn disable movement company and then we'll load back in for day two. I was gonna say that since we didn't get to the castle dungeon or on in your video, since it didn't work, that we could just do it on mine here on the, do the water ridge thing. But mm -hmm. I think I was mixing it up. I was thinking castle dungeon and dungeon interior were two different things, but I think they're the same the same interior. Now that I'm looking at the Scoopy variety mod, there's only one option. Because before there was two, I think. But I think it's because I had over I don't I don't know what I was looking at. Yeah, okay. I I was tripping or something last night. But I guess we'll just do a playthrough on the dungeon map, yeah. Did the showcase, but we never really did a play or I never really did a playthrough of it, so we can do that. Okay, so going to Water Ridge, basically. That's it. And most scrap. And we're down one day because we wasted one on Springfield. Wait, let me go to day two real quick. Or does it matter? Can I just... Does it matter what day it is? Why? Do you, do you have do you have no weather on day one? You don't want to re-roll your weather properly? No, I have Stormy. Well, it might matter then. It might matter then. Do you want to roll that? Or do you... No, you, you, I think you have to stay with that now. No, 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 no. no. I stay. I stay. <laughs> okay, if you want to. I would have looked at that and rolled, bro. No, no, no. I, I play fair. Well, I don't, know, I don't know if it's necessarily fair, but I'll play it. You ready then? Yeah, man. All right, cool. All right, good luck, dude. Okay, I'm actually not going to fight him on that because... Unlike him, I don't play fair. So I had a whole bit with Springfield. I knew going in that it was gonna be a huge moon. So what I did, I was gonna do a little funny. The jetpack, I changed it to be worth a zero. So I was just gonna give myself a funny- Are you running like incredibly fast? Uh, oh, you know what? I think maybe this might be Mike's tweaks again, but whatever. Uh, do we have the same settings, do you think? Yeah, we should have the same settings. Cause the only thing I did was I turned off the 
The B hop thing. Okay, so super fast run, I guess. Yeah. You know what? A little scuffed, but we'll 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 do yeah. it. All right, I'm gonna mute again. Oh man, he started talking, and I thought I was burnt. But yeah, I was gonna do a little funny or on day two. I was gonna use a jetpack for free, like just have a little advantage and do like the little you know cuts, and then and then I would tell him on day three. Whoa, did we move the fire exit? No, I'm on the wrong side. But yeah, so I'm gonna use the jetpack because you know that I'm gonna complete the bit, and then I'm gonna tell him on day three that this is a thing. Where are we? I mean, look at this. It's not even really giving me that much of an advantage anyway. All right, I'm gonna mute again. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully it doesn't run out of battery. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna give me no advantage at all because it seems like the fire exit doesn't wanna work here. Or, actually, let's check right here. Oh. <gasps> The beehive. Wait. Okay. Okay, how are we gonna do this? <gasps> okay, how much is that? Was that worth it? 114, yeah, that's worth it. Oh wait, I have mic squeaks. This should be way easier. Theoretically theoretically it's easier. Theoretically it's easier. Nice. I have to reposition it. Wait, no, this is good position. I can do it from here. Should be able to anyway. Wait, how do I make it back though? Oh, we're just navigating through life, I guess. Oh, 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 a little close there, man. I think that's enough. I guess I could just use the fucking fire escape. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm just trying to game insane. Oh, I almost died. Okay. <laughs> fucking. <gasps> Wait, this is a win. Take that and go. Um, <laughs> bitch. Well, my niece is not a bitch. Let me, let me make that. Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot. What? Chill. Don't die. Uh, uh! Um, that's all I could do. I tried. I tried. I have to run through the bees. I didn't think this through. I was gonna go on the railing and go around, and this is what I get for trying to cheat. <laughs> I mean, well, okay, well, I fully deserved that. 100 hours in the game, by the way. I didn't get to showcase the map, I didn't... Do I even have enough to buy a flashlight still? Okay, I can get a regular flashlight. Okay, I'm dead. I mean, uh, I'm done. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, you're dead? What was that misplay? Holy, I'm, I'm done with day two. <laughs> so after two days of playing, we're going in 48 to zero. <laughs> We're so good at this game. Let me double check the mod pack one more time. I want to see if this is working like I like I thought it would. Oh, yep. Okay. It looks like looks like we might have to go to a vanilla map in order for this to work. 
I guess we're, we're just gonna go to a different map every day for this one, yeah? Where, where should we go? I have an idea. Spawns. Let's spin a wheel to see where we go. I didn't make Rendine or Titan cost zero, so I guess we'll just do one of the regular five, huh? Wait, what has oh, the wait. highest loot value? Why don't we see March? Just because I'm March. taking the assumption that we're just going for loot here. And if it's a um, new dungeon, I, the, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see uh, with a lot of loot. Yeah. Okay, I'm down yeah. for March. I do have one confession, though, before we start day three. So yeah. I was going to do a funny where we were going to be running with vanilla sprint values. And I don't know if you check the store, but the jetpack is zero dollars. So I was going to do a oh. funny where on gate on day two, I was just running and flying around with the jetpack, like vibing. And you were just kind of running around being like, what the hell is going on here? But yeah, just so you know, the jetpack is worth a zero dollars. I think that's fair information to know for day three. I've honestly, I've been playing Lethal Company for probably like 60 to 80 hours. I have never mm -hmm. used the jetpack. <laughs> yep. So that's why I'm telling you right now, there's a jetpack available and uh for zero dollars so if you want to use the jetpack it's there okay that's good to know all right cool i'm ready for day three you ready yeah i'm ready cool let's go cool. good luck good luck all right so hopefully the dungeon mod interior works now maybe i should have read these mods before doing this challenge learning experience hopefully the next few videos i'll actually oh my no way if you want to subscribe to someone who's actually decent at the game, make sure you subscribe to Nico Flow Flow Live. I'm pretty sure I just gave him this one, as long as he doesn't die either. <laughs> oh, there's a giant here anyway. Good luck. Oh, he saw me. Please. <laughs> Lift. Oh. <laughs> okay, I basically finished editing today's video and I just had to land back on the planet and check out the main entrance that we, me and Nico just ran right past. Actually, Nico ran into the factory and I just ran right past it. Scanning it too, a little too late, so I kind of just gotta go. Yeah, Nico just pinged me. He's editing his video right now as well. But um, this is what happens when a few sleep deprived gamers do the do what they do, you know. But I'll actually get to sleep this time, and then when I wake up, I'm gonna try to make it up to y'all and make a better video. So hope to see y'all in the next one. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, and hope you all have a good new year. Peace.